Alright guys, welcome to my next Let's Play. It is... Why is it running like this? But oh well. It is Spyro 2! You all picked it! Whoopee! Yay! And then, dude, this is like the seventh time trying to get this to work, so hopefully it works this time. Yay, Spyro! Woohoo! <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Let's watch this again. <laughs> you can't see watching this intro, but look at these graphics. Yeah, the graphics have been greatly improved over the first one. Look at the sheep. <laughs> Is this oh my gosh! Spyro's got a new voice. The sun looks like. We should go on vacation. I like his somewhere voice in warm, these games better. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores. All right. Yeah. I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there is a Nork! Alright, cool. We're going on vacation, guys. I guess this Let's Play will be short. What the heck? Why are we... What's this world? Avalar? I don't know these characters. There's a cheetah. Some weird elf is it working, antler Professor? mix thing and Almost. some gerbil. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto angrier. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, <gasps> teeth like this, <gasps> and they spit fire like this. Oh. They sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working. It's working. It's working. <laughs> I oh, his eyes. <laughs> Whoa, rough landing. Oh. Hi. Which way's the beach? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? <laughs> Someone forgot to invite me to the party. Are you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? Oh no. I hate dragons! Wow, way to have a tantrum. Temper tantrum. Ow! Crush! Kill it! Kill it! Batters up! Oh, swing <laughs> Oh, what the heck? That wand had a bomb in it. Go, All right. You I'll deal with you later. Who is that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Cool. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Okay. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, oh, I feel bad for you, Spyro. How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? <laughs> Look at the detail on Spyro. And the adventure begins. That's right, our adventure with Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. This game brings back so many memories for me and if this this screws up right here when you when I go talk to this guy I'm gonna flip let's just listen all right I guess I'm gonna be forced to read as you can see the ROM is failing miserably so here we go hi Spyro welcome to glimmer unfortunately for us a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems can you stop them yeah sure I could but let me do some real quick so you guys don't have to listen to his voice Spaz out every time. There you go. There we go. Let's get these gems. As you all know, we gotta collect gems in this game. It's a good portion of this game. Now, 
the main objective throughout the game is basically to go through, collect as much treasure as possible, as you all know. Also, is to get from to the end of the level. At the end of the level, if you complete the objective that this guy, to get to the end of the level, you have to complete this guy's objective, which is to help get rid of all these Nork guys. He will then hand you a talisman. You need to go to each level and get every talisman before you can move on to the next hub world. That is how this game works. The difference here, in basically systematically, is that in the other game you did not have to play every level to move on. You just had to have a certain requirement. All this game, you have to play every level to get to every point. Another thing is, there's a new thing. Let me go to the guidebook here. I could have pressed the like, but you now the atlas has been improved. Look at that, three percent. It shows treasure, 52 of 400, the talisman, the magic pick, and there's three orbs. They're magic orbs that you need to collect. There's 40 in all, and all 40 will activate the final gate in which to face Ripto. That is what happens. <sighs> okay. There's a lot of new mechanics in this game, basically, in terms of as the life system's different, um, I mean, the life system's still spark and everything, except for to obtain an extra guy, um, you have to, like, kill 50 guys or something like that without dying, I believe. Um, and obviously the new enemy is Ripto instead of Nasty Dork. Sadly, we will never see Nasty Dork again. He never comes back, sadly. But yes, there we go. I've explained what is different. Basically, you will see more as we're going along. Um, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm done with all the technical stuff. Um, this game to me holds a lot of memories in terms, um, it basically, this is the very first Spyro game I ever played, oh, hi Spyro, I'm a friend of Elor's, and she's asked me to help you out, whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress, like this, just like in the last game, that zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place, see you around, Instead of in the other game, here's another one. Instead of having to get a, a dragon statue to be able to get a checkpoint, now there's just set checkpoints you have to reach before, uh, in which you will get shocked. Hit with blah blah blah. Oh, uh, there's a lot more treasure in this game, a whole bunch of other stuff. But anyways, this game holds a lot of nostalgic feeling for me. It's the first Spyro game I, in which I owned. Um. probably miss some gems. I just I already have this feeling I miss some. But yeah. This, this will be a fun side project. And let me explain side project to you. Side project is maybe once a week, maybe twice. Maybe. That's pushing it. This is not something I will be doing solidly. Not, I'm constant. This is not my main project. My main project is, indeed, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. So, if you like this game, um, when I'm done with Banjo, I'll probably assert all my attention to this and Little Big Planet. I'm sorry there's no Little Big Planet before this. Ah, uh, how do I say this? Um, I knew I missed gems, and I realized which ones. Yep, there they are. Um, the ones I, uh, I'm gonna finish that one. That should be soon, maybe. I don't know how long. <laughs> I'm not gonna even try to come up with a number. There we go. Anyways, let's continue. We will not get everything this first run through because you're about to find out. Oh, you zapped me. Yeah, woohoo! Whiskers the Gem Cutter. We gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders. Looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer and see me. See, now you get new moves in the game now too. One is which in, in which is to climb. You couldn't do that in the last game, as many of you have watched it. And here's another one. Ah, you must be the dragon everyone is talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there's a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you 100 of your gems to cross. You have to pay to do some things in this game. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Spyro was it. You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. Yes, this game... Um, a lot similar to... Or, it, it has that, that's what makes gems why you have to collect gems. This is what forces you to collect gems, basically. That's why. Um, to get a good look around, hold the triangle button. Try using triangle to look around this cave. Let's not say that we did. Um, let's kill you. 
gems. Now, I'll try and get the talisman here. The talisman's right at the end here. Not too hard. And then that will be the end of this episode. And then next episode, I'll finish this level up as much as I can. And then we'll go on. See how he has the flag? That means he is a main person. Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of Glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. No problem, buddy. The Glimmer talisman, the magic pick. And that's, that basically is what forces you to move on. This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the homeworlds of Avalar. Cool. Alright guys, thanks for watching, rate, subscribe, do all the good stuff. Next time we will finish up this level and we will head off hopefully to the hub world. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this LP. Remember, maybe once a week, maybe twice a week. Nothing serious. Ta remember that when watching this. Alright, see you guys.